So girl, I clicked on this profile girl and lo and behold, this person was a Caucasian girl. Oh no. No 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 no. Every now and then I need to be slobbed on the knob. Slob on my knob like corn on the cob. <laughs> Check in with me and do your job. Ooh, girl, I was laying down and everything, girl, making snow angels. My God, today slob on the knob, corn on the cob. <laughs> y'all just look at y'all running in here like y'all you same bold for this damn tea <laughs> please don't fall whatever you do please do not fall because i don't got insurance girl we did not switch the geico over here okay but what you can do is come on in come on in and grab a seat or two here's a seat have Oh girl, this tea is freshly brewed and it's piping, piping hot. Girl, when I tell you the teapot is still on the stove, girl, on medium low. Oh, y'all gonna need a mug. Y'all gonna need a mug because a teacup is not big enough for this tea. The teacups is not big enough for this tea I'm about to spill. And I'm bringing the receipts. You want me to laugh. bring the receipts? Do I need to bring the receipts, oh, baby girl? Oh, oh yes. Oh yes, oh yes. Do you want me to bring the receipts? Cause I can bring, I can bring the receipts. <laughs> But y'all, before I get into the things, other things, other things, other things, other things, I'm gonna need y'all to subscribe. I'm gonna need y'all to like this video. I'm gonna need y'all to leave a comment down below. I'm gonna need y'all to click the notification bell. Click the bell so you will be notified every time I upload a brand new video. I don't know what the hell is wrong with y'all. Why is y'all not subscribed? Girl, it's like pulling a damn tooth from this thing. My God, today. Anywho, let's jump right into the tea, girl. Girl, when I tell you I am not itching. I am not parlaying. I am getting straight to the tea, the freshly brewed tea that is still on the stove, girl, on medium low. Girl, let's just cut to the chase. So very, very recently, this is recent events. Recent as in this happened this week. This tea hasn't even been sitting. It's still on the stove. So y'all, girl, I was minding my business, girl, on this popular gay app. Mm-hmm. That's the app I'm talking about. The one that make this sound. When you get a new message, girl, yes, Miss Thing, girl, girl, I was on there minding my business, Miss Thing, going along my day, and child, I got a message from somebody's son, girl. Mind you, I got multiple messages from different people's son, but this one in particular, she was different, Miss Thing. She was different. So I clicked on the message to see, because normally when I get a message, I normally click on the person's, even before I respond, I click on the person's profile and go to their picture. Girl, I need to see, I need to see the pictures. I need visuals. I want to see what the body is giving. I need to see the tea. I need to see if they look like Flavor Flavor in the face. Yeah, boy. To see what's going on. I need to see their preference. Listen, it's a lot of details you gotta go through before you even respond to somebody. So, girl, I clicked on this profile, girl, and lo and behold, this person was a Caucasian girl. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Y'all heard what I said, girl. Girl, a snowman done hit me up in my DMs. What the hell is going on? Girl, a snowman. So, y'all, I had never played in no snow before, girl. Girl, I always thought about it. It's one of them things that you've never really done, but you're not opposed to it because you're open to all race and kinds and shapes and sizes. So, I looked at the profile picture, and I'm like, what he want with me, girl? Girl, you don't want none of this, Miss Thing. Miss Thing, you don't want none of this, girl. You don't want none of this. Hell to the now. Nah. To the no, no, no. Honestly, looked at his profile and I ignored him. 
I did not respond at all. So girl, I know he was in his feelings, girl. He was gagging Miss Thing. So y'all, yeah, I am bringing all the receipts. So here you see him hitting me up and saying, hey, how it's going? And this was on Tuesday, September 3rd. I totally ignored him. I did not respond. Then y'all, a week later, he hits me up again. Listen, and this time he did not even say a word. All he did was send over that folder, girl. That private folder. Now we all know on these kind of sites, girl, when you send over that private folder, we know what time you on, Miss Thing. I'm on demon time, taking nigga souls. He in my DM say I'm pretty bitch, I know. You on demon time. And girl, he was not playing because he was like, oh, I know how to get your damn attention, girl. <laughs> I'ma send over these damn unmentionables. I'ma send over these ends, okay? It's the N word, girl, and it rhymes with rude. Y'all know what the hell I'm talking about, girl. We, go, we just gonna call it unmentionables. So, girl, he sent over his unmentionables, girl, and I was scrolling, girl. And, girl, me while I is scrolling, my mouth is on the floor. Yeah. When I tell you that man is stacked up, layered up like a three-layer cake at somebody's reception, girl, I'm like, what the hell? I did not expect this man to be so cakey. So, girl, now I'm intrigued. So, Miss Thing, instead of responding, girl, I just sent my... I fold the girl. Oh, that's what the fuck I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. You're not the only one with a folder with the ends. You is not the only one with some unmentionables. So, girl, I sent over my folder, girl, and this is what he responded, girl. He said, oh, so sexy. I know you would have a big, pretty... Oh, God. He must have the the hell this man look at me and thought that I would have a big pretty you know what it is girl can somebody say judging the book by its cover <laughs> so y'all I just responded and said laugh out loud ha -ha. and then he responded and said you're so sexy to me every time I see you on here I'm like damn okay y'all so pause pause miss thing before we go any further I'm not even going to mention this person's name I'm going to call this person southern bell and y'all going to find out why I'm calling this person southern bell but I'm just not going to say this person's name for privacy the reason girl and i'm just not the type to expose people like that girl absolutely not absolutely not but what i am gonna do is tell you my business girl spill my tea girl and tell y'all my experiences okay so southern bell responded and said you're so sexy to me every time i see you on here i'm like damn and i was like oh girl me oh me are you sure? Me? You talking about me, girl? Okay, and I said thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Okay? And he said, you're welcome. <laughs> we should talk and see about meeting sometime. Ooh, girl, he just cut to the chase. Southern Belle just cut to the chase and be like, oh, yep, I done seen the face. I done seen the big, pretty winky dinky girl it's time for us to meet i'm just gonna save you the time and the chitter chatter girl it's time to meet up i need to see you now i want it now i know what i want and i want it now but i want it now now i'm waiting i'm waiting so pause real quick y'all y'all i is sweating girl girl it is hotter than a jalapeno pussy in this car let me turn the air on what the hell did the devil see this ass crack on earth Yes, 
y'all. So we was there chatting and stuff. And he said, I said, thank you. I appreciate it. He said, you're welcome. And he said, we should talk and see about meeting sometimes. I said, yes, yeah, sure. Do you live in Atlanta, girl? And he replied and said, yeah, I live in so and so. And then he said, when are you normally free? When I tell you this man was just ready to meet up, girl. And I responded and I said, oh, nice. And I told him where in Atlanta I live. And I said, I'm free when I needs to be. Girl, listen, I was trying to pop my shit. I was like, listen, if I need to be free and when I want to be free, I'll be free. I'm just free. Because I'm free. Single, sexy, sweet. From now on, just call me Free Willy. Okay, girl, because she's free, free like an eagle. So when I told Southern Belle where I lived, he was like, oh, girl, we are super close. And then he responded to my message when I said I'm free when I need to be. He says, laugh out loud. I like that. Are you free Wednesday evening? Want to plan for that? You can come to me or I can come to you. When I tell you this man was not playing about meeting up, this man had a mission, girl, and he was not about to fail. He was not about to fail this mission. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. So he was really eager to meet up. Mind you, this is Monday. We're talking on Monday, and he's planning to meet on Wednesday. So I said, nice to meet you, Southern Belle. And I said, I am Craig, because he introduced himself. He says, I am so-and-so, by the way. And I said, nice to meet you, so-and-so, I am Craig. And then I responded to him, his message about meeting on Wednesday. And I said, I would have to get back to you on that. So he responded and I said, okay, that's cool. We will keep chatting to see what we can do. Okay, guys, so stick a pin real quick. So on this app, this popular gay app, it's an app mainly based on just meeting people for hookup. Girl, if you're on this app, girl, you are just looking. You are looking for the nearest piece of meat, girl, so y'all can meet up and lay low and spread it Oh, but, 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 is y'all judging me? I know y'all asses ain't judging me, girl. Girl, I is human, girl. I'm a human being. However, every now and then, I need to be slobbed on the knob. Slob on my knob, like corn on the cob. <laughs> Check in with me and do your job. Slob on the knob, corn on the cob. Girl, I know I ain't the only one, girl. We is all human, girl, and we get lonely, too. What the hell is going on? So yes, girl, I was on this app. Girl, trying to get slobbed on the knob. Well, honestly, not really. I was just on the app to see who was in my vicinity, okay, girl? Who was in my peripherals? That's the only reason. That's the main reason I was on this app. So basically, that's what the app is about. The app is about meeting people that's in a close proximity because it shows you the distance and then y'all could decide if y'all want to meet up girl and do whatever you want to do and y'all to be honest on this app girl they are so straightforward they would just like hit you up and just share their folder right away girl they just send over the unmentionables they don't even say hi they don't even say how your day is going girl you will be lucky if you get a yo or a sup what the hell is a sup girl the shortening for supper not demure not cutesy Girl, where is the civilization, girl? Where is the courtship? Chivalry is dead on this damn app, girl. It is day. But y'all, with Southern Belle, it was different because we was having conversations, girl. We was getting deep. He was asking me personal questions, girl. You know, just regular conversation like you just in a coffee shop having a conversation with somebody, girl. It was very mutual. Y'all, we was actually bonding. We was actually bonding on this app, girl. It's a miracle. I can't believe it, Jesus. I can't believe it, Jesus. And I see y'all. I see y'all in the comments judging me. Don't judge me, okay? Please don't judge me. I'm only on this app sometimes. Sometimes. Always? Not always. No. Sometimes. That means sometimes. Some times not all the time yes it's on my phone but i'm not always on the app plus i'm grown what the hell why am i explaining myself to y'all i is grown if i wanted to be on this app 24 7 379 days a year girl i could i gotta put me first i gotta put me first i gotta put me first because i is grown okay girl and i know how to use my intuition I know how to use my institution, girl, and, 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 and figure out who in the hell I'm going to talk to or meet up with. Okay? So I don't need y'all in the comments acting like y'all Miss Daisy. Keep your damn mouth shut. Y'all is not my grandmama. Okay, girl? 
and y'all is not my auntie but I still love y'all but anyways back to the story so Southern Belle so that's what intrigued me about Southern Belle because we were having conversations come to find out we were the same exact age so so we were right here girl I see you you see me we see each other girl so I'm bonding with this person I'm actually starting to you know have a little liking for this person I was intrigued and the main reason why I was intrigued because I had never messed around with nobody's snowman I have never had a conversation like this with nobody's Caucasian son so girl honestly I was ready, girl. I was ready to play in the snow. I was ready to lay down and make snow angels my thing. And listen, this was my first time. No, wait, 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 wait. It just dawned on me. This was not my first time being with a snowman. Oh, girl, I done played in the snow before. Oh, bitch. <laughs> allegedly, 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 allegedly. allegedly. This is all alleged. Girl, and this happened in New York City, girl. And I was on the job. Ooh, girl. Girl, the clock was ticking, girl. I was on clock working this thing when somebody's white son, girl. Girl, when the snowman came, girl. And girl, we did something. Anyways, that's going to be another story for another video, girl. Show me to me, please. <laughs> send it to me, Rachel. <laughs> please send it to me. Oh, girl, I didn't remember. Oh, girl. Oh, mm, my God, today. I did not even remember that happened. Anyways, back to this story. So, y'all, I got a receipt for y'all. This is the reason why I am calling this man Southern Bell. Just listen to this audio. So, I am with you on that. I agree 100%. That's exactly how I am. I love the touch. I love the feel. I love all of that. I love kissing, holding, hugging that type of thing. Um, I'm with you on that. So I really don't think that we're going to have an issue when it comes to that kind of stuff because I'm very much a lover, touchy, feely, love, like I love all of them things. Um, in case you can't tell, I'm very, very Southern. I have a really, really strong Southern draw. Not country, not to get the two confused, but yes, I love all of that. But when it comes to sex, like I'm open. I like all of the things. Don't he sound like somebody's auntie that just stay home and bake um, pumpkin pies all day and clean all day, Miss Thing? I am not used to a Southern accent. So this Southern accent was really intriguing to me. So we're talking in text messages for a little bit. And the person suggested that we go out to have coffee, like meet up at Starbucks to have coffee. So I was like, okay, cool. You know, it's something new for me, girl. I've never been in a coffee date girl you know then the person gonna say on uh, 10 a.m in the morning what the hell who, who? Well, it could have been a scheme that Todd set up for him to come to you with the booze who what's gonna wake up 10 a.m girl to go to no damn starbucks girl see this is some white people shit girl uh-uh ain't nobody got time 10 a.m i probably just be getting up girl and then i gotta go to the gym so i was like what about like three o'clock three o'clock black people time what about three o'clock he was like okay three o'clock is great he said he was just gonna dress simple girl in some lululemon i was like i know that's right girl very caucasian lululemon girl girl is you going to the gym so y'all the evening goes on girl i am on the road working so it's nighttime oh girl it's nighttime and i got home so i got home and we was on the phone talking and he said he was gonna go to bed we're saying our good nights and stuff so i'm thinking this man is going to bed so i don't know where this man said do you want to meet up tonight and girl i was kind of bombarded girl girl uh, that question just hit me upside the head bitch and i'm like you want to meet up tonight are you sure you want to meet up tonight so i'm like what kind of time he on girl he on some demon time girl he trying to see the big pretty thing in person girl the big pretty dinky winky i was like this is very spontaneous i guess he just lives down the road girl literally 10 minutes away girl he sent me the addy with a quickness honey girl he was ready girl he was on ready he sent me the address girl and and then I told him that I was going to let him know when I was on the way. So, y'all, I jumped in Strange and I whipped it down there, Miss Thing. And when I got there, I knocked on the door. So, y'all, he opened the door and I walked in. And, girl, big white smile, girl, very Caucasian, Miss Thing, very Southern Belle. And we gave each other a hug. He told me that I smell nice, girl, girl. Always smelling good, girl. Okay? One thing's for certain, two things for sure. Craig Smith, Carrie Smith, the Batty Twins were always gonna smell ravishing delectable girl expeditiously good
Ding, ding, ding. Okay, girl, don't ever get it twisted. Okay, no stinking gal around here. No frowny arm around here. Okay, girl, fresh and nice and smell good and delectable and edible. Yeah, so yes, guys, we hug and then we go over to the living room area and sit in the couch. By the way, his couch was very comfortable, girl. Very comfortable, girl. His aesthetics was very simple, very like nude, kind of beige, kind of neutral, kind of natural color tones in his house, in the living room or whatever, girl. Very cute, very simple, very clean, very white. So instantly, it felt like we were friends. We were just laughing and kikiing, girl, and very touchy-touchy, like I'm rubbing on his hands and we're like holding hands like this girl and you know it was very friendly and very like innocent girl but it was still like flirty like girl girl oh girl you could get this thing okay girl we could lay it low and spread it wide we see each other we was on the same page so we was there talking and everything and um we were having fun girl we were kind of play wrestling on the couch doing all kind of stuff meanwhile the tv is on girl and it is watching itself the tv was on it was on mute but we was just there talking and having fun. Oh, girl, the tea, girl, the tea is piping out, girl. Is y'all still there? Is y'all still there? I know y'all asses is still there, girl. Oh, girl, is y'all on the edge of y'all seats? Is y'all on the edge of y'all seats? I hope y'all got some popcorns and some Skittles, girl, and some sour straws. Oh, you don't like sour straws, girl? Twizzlers? Oh, you like M&M's? Oh, the one with the peanuts, girl. Okay, girl, have your snack, girl. Anyway, so yeah, we on the couch having fun. And then he said, I am so much different in person. So I was like, what you mean? He was like, um, he didn't expect me to be this hilarious and stuff like that and so fun. So I asked him what you thought I was gonna be like. And he was said, judging by my picture, he thought that I would have been like more masculine. So I was like, ooh, ooh, ooh is that a read, girl? Girl, the shade, the shade of it all. Is that shade? Oh, the shade of it all. So he was basically saying that my picture was uh, giving trade. The girls were giving trade down. I'm going to insert the picture here so y'all can see what picture I have on my profile. So he thought that I was giving hooga booga girl. He thought that I was giving the niggas girl. He thought that I may have scammed in my past lifetime. And I may have been locked up a few times. Girl, I'm guessing that's what he was thinking by the picture girl. But it was never given that. Hell to the nah, to the nah, nah. Oh, no. She me her, she would never give that honey. Girl, I was just sitting there normal. I just took I was literally sitting here and I just took my phone and snapped a picture, girl. I don't know what he wanted me to look like. So he definitely judged me by my picture, girl, and by his preference. Cause he liked more masculine guys. But he was still gagging because when we met, girl, it was just straight chatter. We was having good conversation. He was giggling and gaggling and kick 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 kick. And we were just having fun. He was probably astonished by his damn self that he was having fun with somebody who had feminine traits. One thing for certain, two things for sure, I'm going to always be me. I will never change. Never, ever. I'm going to always be a thousand percent me. And I have many sides. There is facets of me. <clears throat> I have my feminine ways and I have my masculine ways. But at the end of the day, I is still a niggas. Ooh, 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 I is still a man. I guess he was looking for a thug that was like really super masculine girl, like hyper masculinity. So mind you, y'all, at that time we're having fun and I did not even really realize. Although he made that comment about my picture saying I looked really masculine in my picture, I was not picking up that masculinity was his type because we were just vibing and just having fun and laughing and kick-cackling, girl, and ki 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 in. So, girl, I feel like everything was going okay, girl. I feel like we was meshing, girl. So, anyways, he invited me to his bedroom. <laughs> Pause. It's not what y'all think. Take y'all minds out the gutter. Not because somebody invites you to their bedroom, that don't mean we're not finna have Bible study. You could do multiple things. Multiple things in the bedroom. Why do y'all think they keep the Bible in the bedside table, girl? It's not just there for souvenir. So anyway, Southern Belle invited me into his room. And y'all, when I tell you his bed, his bed, that is the softest bed I ever felt in my life. Y'all, it was so soft and styrofoam, girl, and memory foam. It was like um, mashed potatoes. It was so pillowy and soft. A little bit too soft for me because I like my bed to be a little bit firm. And when I was climbing up on the bed, girl, and then... It was high too and then my short ass trying to climb up on this bed but then the bed won't grip me because the bed was too soft 
There was no gripperization. So, girl, I am melting in the bed, girl. And we there cackling and laughing. So, y'all see, we, we've been laughing constantly. And that's one of my big things that I like in someone. Someone who can make me laugh and we could be funny together. So, girl, we over there cackling or whatever I'm saying. And, girl, I finally got on the other side of the bed next to him. And, girl, I am sinking, girl. Sinking, girl. Sinking into the mattress. Sinking girl. When I tell you I was about to fall asleep, that's how soft the bed was. My God, today. So we're there laying down and we're talking and we're have, having conversations, girl, like regular people and talking. So I'm like, you need to go to bed. You need to go to bed because it's 2 in the morning and you normally go to bed at 10 p.m. to get up at 6 a.m. Y'all, this man gets up at 6 a.m., girl. Uh-uh. Get somebody else to do this. Get somebody else to do this. Well, they do say early bird gets the first word. Ain't nobody got time to be up at no damn 6 a.m. I ain't got the time. Okay, girl, I is still asleep. So anyways, y'all, we say our goodbyes. He said he's going to bed. We give each other a hug and a peck on the lips. Oh, did I mention y'all? Girl, we've been pecking on the lips this whole time. In between talking and cackling, girl, and um, fondling each other and stuff like that, girl, and touchy, touchy, feely, girl, we was kissing, girl. And this was just pecs. It wasn't no open mouth, girl, tongue wrestle, that nasty tongue wrestle thing, girl. Ain't nobody got time for all that saliva. Mm-mm. Ain't nobody got time for that. So it was just pecs on the lip. Nice, cute pecs on the lip. So, y'all, he walks me to the door. We give each other a hug, and we give each other a peck on the lips, and we say our goodbyes. So I got home. He went to bed. I texted him and let him know that I got home. I went to bed, girl. Ooh, girl. So it's the next day. Ooh, girl. I get up, honey, Miss Dean. Lo and behold, girl, I got up to a message girl he texted me i think i got up at 10 a.m and he texted me at 9 a.m girl let me read this message to y'all girl girl when i tell you i was gagging this thing here's me gagging southern bell said hey good morning so as you know i am a very honest person and i want to be straightforward with you i think you are so sweet and funny like I feel you are the sweetest person ever and so handsome. But I feel like you're a little too feminine for me. Oh girl. How could you stoop so low? about a kick in the balls i'm not even gonna lie girl he at that girl he at that girl girl he left no crumb honey there was no crumbs there was no increments girl there was no fragments okay not even a minute crumb was left on the plate girl but i like how he did it though girl he played it smooth okay he put some thought into this he said like i feel you are the sweetest person ever and so handsome girl but i feel like you are a little too feminine for me I am really sorry because I really like you from what I know as a person. But y'all, he played it real cute and real smooth, girl. This is what he said. He said, like I feel you are the sweetest person ever and so handsome. So handsome. But I feel like you are a little too feminine for me. Honestly, truly, I am going to have to applaud this man. I am going to have to applaud this man, Southern Belle, girl. You did that very gracefully. This was very cutesy, very demure, very classy how you did that, girl. Okay? Now, this is how you send a message. This is how you refuse somebody. <laughs> 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 this is how you kindly and demurely refuse somebody, girl. Okay, girl, make sure the compliments is in there. You're so sweet. You're, you're so fun. You're so handsome, girl. And then you sock it to them in the middle. And then you end it with a, I'm so, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to say, I'm so sorry. I'm so 
sorry. This is how you do that, Miss Thing. And you know, to be honest, it's just his preference. He likes somebody that's more masculine. And I can't even knock him for that, Miss Thing. I can't even knock him for that because everybody have a preference. Mind you, he's very feminine himself. I guess he wants somebody that's super masculine girl that can lift him up and throw him over the headboard, Miss Thing, and probably put him in his place when they need to, girl, and hit him upside the head two times. Not saying that that's what he want, but I'm just not, I'm just too feminine for him, which is, which is okay. You think, you think I care? Look at me. Do I look like I care? Look, just take it. Do I look like I care? Look at me. Look, just, no, Sharice, yeah. look at me. Do I look like I care? Look. I don't care. It's okay, girl. It's no love lost. This is just a lesson learned. Why? Because there's somebody out there for me. There is somebody's son out there, girl, that's going to accept me in entirety, girl. Okay, girl? They're going to accept me for my big-ass mouth. They're going to accept me for my humor. They're going to accept me for my femininity. They're going to accept me for my masculinity. They're going to accept me entirely. Okay? So, if y'all haven't taken anything else from this video, from this story time, we all got that one person out there that's gonna accept us for who we are completely okay so just know that just know that when y'all go out on these apps and when y'all meet up with these people girl and when things don't go y'all way just know that's god saving you saving you from a situation girl where it wasn't going meant to be it's not meant to be girl it's just life lessons okay life lessons you live and you learn i guess i is feminine girl girl i guess i am a queen I am a queen. I'm a lady. I is a lady. And listen, I don't care what the hell I is, girl, as long as I am being me. Authentically me. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this story time, girl. Girl, it was so juicy to me. When I tell you I've been gagging these past few days, girl, like, how the hell this happened in less than 24 hours? And it was with a snowman. Somebody Caucasian son. Who would have ever thought? My God, today. Oh, Lord, girl, girl, I was playing in the snow. Oh, girl, I was laying down and everything, girl, making snow angels. It was giving winter wonderland. Girl, it was cold like Elsa. Anyways, y'all, I want to thank y'all for watching this video. I know y'all was living for this freshly brewed tea y'all just here for the mess and y'all love to be in my business girl well shout out to y'all for watching this video and making it all the way to the end and if you still watching please leave a comment and hashtag snowman hashtag snowman if you got this far to the video and make sure you like it leave a comment girl you might as well share the damn video also miss thing share the video tell your friends your aunties your uncles your cousin and your nieces well i ain't got no more tea today miss thing i gotta go <laughs>